the first thing you want to do to solve this question is to sketch the information given of the two normal distributions, which has only been done uh, earlier. So if you have uh, sketched the diagram, it should look as what is shown. Now, since uh, both are normal distributions, both have a same standard deviation, they have the similar shape. So if we want the probability of x greater than b equals to the probability of y less than b, based on this diagram, b should be somewhere in the middle here, which will then allow us to have this conclusion. This orange area here, which is the probability of y less than b, would be the same as the green color area, which is the probability of x more than b. So since B is directly in the middle of 14 and 22, B becomes 14 plus 22 divided by 2, which will give us 18. For the second part of the question, it's also advisable to do a quick sketch of the diagram. We should look something like this. Based on this quick sketch, we can see that the probability for the x normal distribution looks like this, and this portion above 20, the probability is 0.112, and we are requested to find the probability of y in between 16 and 28. The first thing we want to note here is that the distance from 14 to 20 is 6. Similar to the distance between 22 to 28, which is 6, and similarly for 16 to 22 is also 6. This gives us a valid comparison between distribution x and y, and it will enable us to make the conclusion that since both distributions are similar, these two green areas are then 0.112, same for here, 0.112. So the orange area, which is the region that we are interested in, simply becomes probability of 16 less than y less than 28 is going to be equal to 1, which is the total probability of the whole diagram, uh, minus 0.112 the first green portion, minus 0.112, which is the second green portion. This will lead us to having this answer, 0 0.776. Okay, that's how we solve this question.